welcome back to a new video. My name is Lisa. I live on my own in a small market town in the west of England. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a cooking video. Some of you have asked me in the comments if I'll show you some recipes. So I'm having a go um, and making a quesadilla. Uh, so you need some cheese, you need some mushrooms. I mean, you can kind of put anything you like in a quesadilla. Um, this is some red pepper. That's the ones like from the jars that I've just chopped up a little bit. And then I've got some chicken. You don't need to put chicken in if you're vegetarian uh, or if you're about kosher diet as well. Uh, don't put the chicken in because meat with cheese doesn't go. And you need to either corn or wheat tortillas. Um, whatever you want, the choice is yours. So those are your ingredients. And uh, let me show you how we do it. So I'm gonna turn the hob on. And I'm using my Vinod pan, uh, which is a Indian cooking uh, pan, but any heavy bottom flat frying pan skillet will do. Um, I'm gonna start by frying off the mushrooms. And we're gonna use a bit of speed up here, otherwise we'll be here all day waiting for the mushrooms to fry. Okay, once they're done, you can set them aside and put the pan back on. And you need to add your first tortilla. Don't need to grease the pan or anything like that. Just put it on dry, it's absolutely fine. And now we're gonna sprinkle that with cheese, kind of about the quantity as if you were making a pizza. Um, is about what you want on the cheese front. I'm gonna add the chicken pieces. I'm gonna add pieces of pepper. And we're gonna add those mushrooms as well. And just scatter them around again, kind of like if you were doing a pizza. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese on the top and pop the second tortilla on top of that. Hold it down flat a little bit and you can just leave it for about a minute or so and you'll know when it's time to flip it because it will go crunchy on the other side. Flipping a quesadilla is an act of bravery. You have to go for it, don't be timid. It will feel your fear. Your fear. Leave it on the other side to cook for a couple of minutes Again, you'll know because it'll have gone crunchy on the other side and the two tortillas will have stuck together by the cheese. And then you'll know that it's done. So slide it off onto the plate. I do eat quite a lot of my meals off of chopping boards. It's kind of convenient. <laughs> so we're going to cut this one into pieces. I'm going to cut it into six. That feels like a decent size for me I'm stacking them up because you want to add some sour cream and some salsa because the combination of sour cream and salsa together is amazing and that's kind of it there's your chicken quesadilla this is one of the first things I learned to make actually when I was in when I moved to America and we ate lots of Mexican food and I fell in love with little quesadillas. I'd never heard of them before I moved to the States, let alone eaten one. And now it's uh, pretty much a staple in my lunchtime repertoire. You could serve this with a salad or however you want to. So there you go. There's a cooking video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you want more and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you on the next one.